Um, I have an amazing husband, but he is extremely guilty when it comes to um, our stepkids. We've been married almost five years, and we have um, three children from previous marriages. Um, my son and our two daughters live in the household with us, and then my two stepsons come over um, part-time. The issue is, is that the guilt is so heavy because he's not in the household with them that when they come over, he subconsciously treats them differently than my son. And it makes my son feel bad, and it makes me feel guilty as a mother. Um, and I guess the issue is, is that Although it's not intentional, I need to convey to him how it makes me feel, how it makes my son feel, and that, you know how we can change his behavior so that this doesn't continue to happen in our house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, Tiny, what are your thoughts? I mean, I was gonna say my household. You know, I have a kid, a previous kid, and then we have our step kids, and we have two kids together. But he's never really treated her different. And if, you know, if that was to happen, I would have to choose. And of course, my kids are gonna come first. So I would speak to him about how it's making me feel and my kids, because something's gonna have to give. And I can't let my kid keep feeling like, you know, they're less than that. Marjorie? Well, as a parent, there is a little bit of guilt that all of us carry uh, when it comes to a broken marriage or the broken family. Uh, but I think more than anything, what I would do with my husband is just sit down and have a discussion with him and just get him to understand, sweetheart, first off, you're a great father. Let's first say that. You shouldn't feel guilty for anything. You are an amazing father. Steve and I have had to have that conversation before. And I had to tell him, stop allowing these children to make you feel guilty for what you did. Even with some of our adult children, I had to tell him, I'm sorry. If it didn't work out that, that daddy wasn't there when you were a little girl, guess what? He's here now. Stop worrying about what you didn't have because now you're sabotaging what you have right now. So I think more than anything, sit down and talk to your husband and then sit down and have a conversation with your son and explain to him what is actually going on and that it has nothing to do with him and your love for him and your husband's love for him. Okay. Brenda? There's not much left to say. Marjorie took the words right out of my mouth, is that I, I think you need to first validate your husband and, and let him know how hard you understand it is. Second, sit down with your son. We don't give kids enough credit for understanding some of these adult divorce issues. And simply acknowledging that you see what's going on and letting him know that your husband is doing this not out of a place of malice, but from a place of pain and guilt, your son will feel that it's not because of him. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that will hopefully help him come to your husband in ways that maybe he wasn't before able to do. Mm -hmm. Now, here, here's one, here's one I can weigh in on because there's a man involved in this. So here's what I wish I had done a long, long time ago. Your husband needs to sit down with all the children at the same time. Yeah. And just go over, these are the ways we're going to live. Yeah. These are the rules we've chosen to live by. We're gonna have gifts at this time of the year. This is what we're gonna do for birthdays. This is what we're gonna do for anniversaries, Christmas, holidays. So kids know. Mm -hmm. But then that's what? It also takes him off the hook, man, for having to play Disney dad every time they come over. Mm -hmm. Because man, I, I've wrestled with that part of it. I wasn't there, let me make up. You can't make up nothing. You can't, you can't get back nothing. You can only be in the present. Now if the kids don't agree with it, remember, it ain't they vote. They don't know enough to vote. They don't know enough to tell you how to run a relationship. They ain't never been in one. And Marjorie and I have had to deal with that. One, one time my kids all went bowling together <laughs> back in like 2007. They came back and said, Mom, Dad, we want to talk to y'all. All of our kids, all seven of them, decided that they didn't think that she and I should be married. Oh, wow. and they, oh they came out. I don't want y'all to do the marriage yet. We need time to adjust. Verbatim, they said okay. that we didn't ask them. And don't nobody Wait, give like... a damn. <laughs> <laughs> so why we need to ask Marjorie, Marjorie being the 
fixer in the family. Oh. She said I had a group discussion. I left. I'm not discussing the damn thing with y'all. <laughs> First of all, all y'all are stupid. <laughs> Every last one of y'all. You, you don't know a damn all of that thing. Before you left. I don't like your mama no more. <laughs> so now let's understand that. He this the one that. I like. I don't like your mama no more. <laughs> I ain't going back to your mama no more. I ain't can't stand your mammy. Now that we talking about it. How about that? That's what I wanted to say. Marjorie took over and worked the whole thing out. You got everybody to come. Hey, hey folks, you. welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.